like everything I touch about to turn gold. How I'm barely getting started and I'm shutting down the show. Dark skin, but I keep it like, don't you see how I glow? Didn't nobody want to help us, so we did it all alone. All alone. They've been praying for my downfall all at home. They thought they were right, and I was wrong. But someone said, what doesn't kill you, make you strong. I be soaring on the track like pterosaurus. Turn a crowd into a choir. Got them singing every chorus. If we ballin', then I'm Jordan. If we fightin', then I'm forming or Ali. It just depends on if you think age is important. Made a million off of portraits. Behind my brother's portraits. Can't believe I got this far and I was supposed to be aborted. Call me Mr. Luma Norman, cause I swear I'm out of orbit. If they music was on Wall Street, I swear they getting shorted. They saying they be working, but they all laying dormant. I got terabytes of music on drives. I just recorded I'm solid. Now my estate is worth the fortune. The debate whether I'm great will soon achieve. Achieve a quorum, not even at max form. I'm hardcore like my theories a woman scorn. By the action, Jason Bourne. Every time that I perform, I be stirring up a storm. You should see how many swarm to the stages I be on. Somebody please. Mm, yeah, we're in the building now. Let's chop it up, man. Big up to Savage. Big up to the chat. Oh my late night chill zone, man. Relaxing, kicking back. Talk about Liverpool, man. Sav, I know you're good. Obviously, we was playing for clubs earlier. Started turned into a shambles after a while, man. But I don't know, man. I blame the right winger. Still. The people, man. The people don't need to know about. No, no, I blame the right winger still, man. No, nah, look, bro. Come on, man. We're a team, man. You can't be throwing man under the bus on that, bro. We're a team, man. Yeah, yeah, we are a team. But sometimes, you know, what I mean, you have to do the Mourinho thing, bro. You have to call out the teammates, bro. You have to call out the man them that's not, you know, what I mean, doing their jobs. Um. All good, bro, man. Um, I don't know if you caught the preview earlier. Yeah, I watched the whole thing. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, obviously, all the, all the little injuries and players coming back. Um, McAllister and Robbo, um, they had a little flu, but I think they're going to be back as well. Sobo and Darwin back in training. That's always a positive sign. But Salah will be missing the game, man. What's your initial thought? Because obviously, we haven't had a chance to kind of chop it up today about the football, but... What's your initial thought, man, about these guys coming back and the injuries still tomorrow? I don't, I don't really mind the mountain still. Like, I mean, obviously, I mind this more on it, but I don't. I mean, we've been without him for a while anyway. I mean, obviously, mm. it's not been that long, but he was at Akon before that. Um, so for a while now, he's been missing, brother. We've been fine without him. You know what I mean? We've been scoring goals, been playing good football, winning games. So I'm fine with that. We're playing against Nottingham. <clears throat> um, can't take them lightly, but at the same time, don't want to overgas them. And if you play properly, play it 100, you win the game. Um, uh, so shouldn't need more for this game. You know what I mean? So it's one of them ones. In, in fact, it's one of them games that, like, actually no, because more players all the time. But in the ideal world, if you was resting players and all that stuff, and you're rotating anyway, you'd probably put him on the bench, bro. Yeah, you're right. Because we we've, we've obviously he's not played since what Jan well January you would say in it January the third he's not played for us. Played obviously one game when he, he um came off the bench, got a goal and an assist. But other than that, we haven't relied upon him. Um, the stats show that obviously we scored a lot of goals while he was away. But obviously wow. we had Jota at that moment as well. Um, but all the forwards was 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 chipping in and getting goals, man. So, but exactly. it's obviously losing Jota. You you'd like okay at least then we could replace him with Mo kind of thing, but mm. we have Mo missing um, games as well. But the Klopp did say um, he should be back next week anyway. So it, you know I, I don't want it to kind of people start getting nervous and worried about it. But injuries happen. Just have to kind of get on with it, man. And I, I would love to have Mo ready for that Man City game though when that arises, bro. I don't yeah. think you're playing it in the Europa League game. But I could be wrong. Um, but like obviously having Darwin and Sobo back, man, should be good, man. At least that right sided eight position could be sorted out. Now we get one midfielder back. What's your thoughts on that one? Sobo finally about to grace the pitch again. Yeah, man, I'm really happy about it, man, because because um I love watching Sobo, Sobo play this season. It's been really good, but I don't want to. I don't think I don't want to say like oh, at least the right sided eight gets sorted out then because Harvey's been holding on the fort the whole time, bro. I mean cause any mm-hmm. problems with it. Kind of sound like man just dismissing him and that like, yeah, man, <laughs> no, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. So, yeah, man. Um, obviously, it offers a little bit more um, stability defensively. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and I'm just happy he's back, man. I mean, he's, you know, I mean, we only got solo this season and we really want to see him out for so many games and that, bro. So it'll be good to get him back in the squad. Um, and yeah, it's just an extra, it's just an extra body to have around, isn't it? So rotation's a little bit different. Um, you got four or five power off the bench, whichever way you go, whoever you start. So I like it, man. Um, looking forward to it, to be honest, bro. I think confidence is uh, high in the squad. Uh, the test for South of uh, Southampton was a big test, still considering it was straight after yes. the League Cup game. And sometimes you can be riding high, and then it's a bit like, oh shit, man, man, I got the hangover and that, bro. No, no, they, they were good. They were back on it. Um, everyone played good. We were Nottingham, man, and I'm not worried about them at all, bro. They got a pace on that, bro. But sometimes you can just overgas it, and it like they've had pace all season, and they've hardly won any games, bro. So just got yeah, to be on. yeah, I mean that's it. When I spoke about it earlier, I was looking obviously their results, man, and they obviously concede a lot of goals as well in it. So it's one of those ones. I'm like, yeah, like we can be worried in terms of the transition, but they concede a lot of goals. So as long as we're ready and we take our opportunities, we should get enough goals in this game. Um, yeah, agree. I'm obviously getting Darwin back as well, man. Like I've missed watching him play, bro. Like I know he's not um, a lot of people's favourite player, but I do miss when he's not playing. Because it just feels like something will happen regardless, mm. bro. Like, at any moment, he'll score a mad goal or miss a mad chance or he'll just play a mad through ball or some crazy assist. And if I've missed him, bro. Honestly, I've missed him not playing. But yeah, it's a bit of a nut job, isn't it? Mm. I like, I like, it's, it's good having him around, man. He's a character, man. Football's missing characters, that's why. You know what I mean? So even mm. some of our own players and that, man, they, they got, you know, they can play ball and all that, bro. But there's a certain kind of character that you like when you're watching football and that, man. He's got it, bro. You know what I mean? He's, he's, um, he's entertainment at the end of the day. And in the in a space where all I want is the victories, he offers a little bit more and it's something else to talk about. So, yeah. Um, and he's been doing good. Not only that, like, the entertainment side, but he's actually been really good this season. Um, and no, he his, his input's been great. So, it's always going to be good having him back. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to it, man. Looking forward to it. Uh, big up to Rev Saint and um, Red for Life in the building, man. Um, let's get it, man. Um, this is the um, the two players. Everyone's kind of been, I don't know what's the word to use, man, but everyone's been ranting and raving about the two of them after, obviously, the, the, you know, the cup final and, and obviously the two goals that Dan scored the other day and then Kumas joined in as well and got his goal. I, I won't say we start overgassing them because I don't think we're overgassing them. I just feel like I think Klopp touched on it today as well. He said, like, obviously, we need to just let them and them, like, let them breathe in it, let them just become the players they need to become. And it was his fault, to be fair, because he would say, Oh, it's my fault because I gave you guys an assist. I was like, What does he mean about the assist? But he was like, Oh, yeah, when he mentioned about you can't win the cup with um, kids or you can't win a game with kids. Mm. So, yeah, man, what's what's your thoughts on these two, man? Because I don't want to do this over-gassing thing, but they are good players, man. Like, watching them, I'm like, nah, these men, with a few more years, a few more games, yeah, it could be curtains still. Uh, yeah, I'm quite... <laughs> kind of said this the other day, man. Um, I'm not trying to be the party pooper in that, bro, but I, I'd like to just reserve how I feel about these players for now. They are good. Um, I'm not new to them. Um, a lot of people are. So that's why the excitement's there, isn't it? Because it feels like this kids have just come out of nowhere and, you know, I've been watching them for a bit still. Um, especially Dan's. Mm. So, yeah, for me, man, uh, I don't think on the day everyone's overgassing because you're excited and they've just done a great thing for the club, is it? Dan just come on and scored two goals. Kuma scored one, put in a shift. Everyone's riding high from the, the League Cup as well. Um, but they are they are good, but that's kind of where I leave it, man. You know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not. Everyone's running around and all the fog knows is this. This is you know, Dan's is the future and blah blah blah, and he's a top striker. And you saw after the on the call in, he, ah, oh, the finishing reminds me. Someone, one more person was like storage and sitting in the chat. Someone said it, it's finished like sharing them, and I'm like, what the fuck is, bro? One was a one was a poaching goal. What every striker can score. And one was a dink, whatever he's talking about. He doesn't remind me of anyone, but it's just him. I, I rate him, especially the dink, because it took a lot of composure. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to start, like, comparing him to everybody, bro. 
just let him live in it. Just let them, you know what I mean? Because then all of a sudden what happens is when something doesn't go right in a game, they're like, oh, what, what's going on with Klopp, man? Why is he not playing the youth and all that? But I'm like, brother, this is Liverpool Football Club, bro. You know what I mean? Like, you got they got their chance, they took their chance. But it's not like a one-off thing, and you don't take your chance and then you're in the squad forever, man. We've got a big squad. So let's see what happens when more games come around and, you know, maybe Europa League, probably not the whole game either, but 10, 20 minutes and that. See how they progress there. And it will not add too much pressure to me either, man, because all of a sudden that happens and then we get to them Europa League games and they don't score and don't assist and make a mistake and it's like, oh, these, these, these are not, you know, they're not ready for the, you know what I mean? I think I'll just hold, I'll just reserve it a little bit because I've heard what people have said about how oh, you've set up for the last year, bro. So, yeah, mm. two goals from Dan and a get goal from Kumas can't change everything like that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Red Fuller said, so we have to big them up, man, but we can't just say something wild like we we want them to exactly. start over that exactly. goals. That's true. Because yeah, exactly. I, I think that's one, what was one of your comments the other day as well. He was just like, oh, 100% watch what will happen. Nunes will miss a chance. Yep. And they will be like, oh, Dan should have started. Yep. It will happen. Yeah. It will happen, man. At the moment, they are... They are youth academy prospects mm. and uh, running their development than a lot of the other ones, but they still are playing for the other team. So, you know, they'll still play for the unders when they need to entrain. You know what I mean? So, whereas Bradley and Kwanzaa are, they are first team football. They, like, they're in the squad now. Yeah. So, that's, the big, that's a big difference, isn't it? So the talk everyone's giving for these two, which obviously they deserve it, give them all the... But that's probably for Quantum and Bradley more than they, these two at the moment. Because as I said to you, bro, Mane mentioned Doak in about six months, bro. And he <laughs> was the talking point, bro. And Mane mentioned him at all. No one cares that he's injured. No one cares about anything to do with Doak, bro. When he was the guy, I'll play him in the Europa League, play him, put Salah on the bench, play him, blah, blah, blah. So it's how quick it changes, isn't it? Just let the man them live, bro. Definitely deserve the praise, though. 100%. But I don't want to hear mm. no foolish stuff about starting over this man and this man. And yeah, I mean, I watch a lot of people watch them in the academy. I watch them too, bro. So it's still academy football. Let's not mm. get to it. It's still academy football. I watched, the, I watched the FA Cup game against Leeds yesterday. Smoked. It's academy football, bro. It's all about development and that. So let's see. Proud of them, though. Definitely proud of them. Oh, facts. I think that's the word that's being dished around at the moment, the word proud. Big up to Justin. Um, honestly, he says, big up the Duns in the building. Kane ends. <laughs> and the Undertaker, Savage Brothers of Destruction. Big up, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah, nah, it, I, I want to give them their praises, bro. But at the same time, you're right, bro. We have to just stay level-headed. It's, it, it's still, they've come into a great moment where there's a lot of injuries in the squad. I'm, I'm, I don't want to say there's a there's a room for them to take, like in terms of take a position, because there isn't really when everyone's fit, they go straight back into the academy again and have to just run it there. But, but when everyone's fit, really, look, you look if you can fit the first team in. Yeah. You might not be able to. Like oh, Matip and Kwanzaa, if Matip was fit, Kwanzaa and the whole team was fit, Kwanzaa wouldn't be able to be on the bench. That's crazy, isn't it? You mm. wouldn't be able to be there because you would already have Gomez and Virgil and Robo and Shimikas and Matip. And Qu- so you're going to have six defenders there on the bench with two goalkeepers and five, at, what, six attackers? Mm-hmm. So what, no midfield subs then? That, that's what I'm saying, bro. You wouldn't be able to do it. It wouldn't, it wouldn't work out. So, yeah, man. Um, well, I'm, happy, yeah. I'm happy to show it up now, though, because, because we're going to have a new manager next season. And if they don't show anything this season or didn't get a chance, new managers come in and carry on what he wants to do and it by his own players and all that. Um, and then the academy don't really get a chance like that. So, yeah, I'm telling you, Dan's and Kumas are going to dance all over the Premier League at Prem's ass. Just to wait and see, man. There's still a long way for them to develop as well. They're what 18, still got plenty of time, plenty of time to develop, plenty of um. And they have to find their way into this squad because the squad isn't old either. So even though they're 18, the squad is still relatively young. If you take Mo out of that the equation, they're still really young players. 
they're still mid twenties, early twenties. Most of these guys, so it's yeah, it's gonna be tough still. It's yeah, not you're like right. They're all in the prime age, you know? yeah. It's not like they're at the back end. You know, like if we had say Bobby Mane and then Salah up top, and then these guys were showing a bit of sign of you know coming through, then you could go, okay, all right, there's room because these men ain't gonna be here forever. But you got Darwin is young, Gapo is young, Diaz you'd say is young as well. Um, Jota is young, so yeah, it's one of them ones, bro. They're, they're like maybe they're the right players at the wrong time, but we'd have to wait and see because a new manager comes in, he might be like, No, 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 I want to give these men the opportunity and let, let me see what they can do. I think it's just one of those things, man. Yeah, I agree. Uh, question, my little brother said, Jamal Musiala is better than Jude, but Jude got mad PR behind him. What's you guys' opinion? Uh, my little bro wants Musiala at LFC. No. Um, he's. I do reckon you bro. Different right. players, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if if it's they're completely different players, bro. Yeah, completely they're completely different. different. But if someone if someone says just as a player, I prefer Musiala over Jude. That's fair enough. It's not like yeah. um, it's not like the mad drop off on that, bro. But the PR business, that's not. That's not true. Jude's been killing it from a while ago, bro. From a while ago. Man was in B he's in the blue senior team at 16, bro. Keep smashing man up. So it won't be I. He was literally a wonder kid on the pitch at the time. That's how we got the move to Dortmund in the first place. Turned down mm -hmm. man you went to Dortmund for his development. Mashed up at Dortmund, became their best player. Let Haaland went, Sancho went, he stayed, and then eventually left, man. So Musial was cold though. His goal to the, his goal tonight was cold. Man just twinkle toe through the bed. <laughs> that's his, that's all of his goals, bro. His goals are not normal goals. He doesn't not score normal, normal goals. goals. There wasn't one normal goal tonight. To be fair, in that game, none mm -hmm. of them, bro. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that league's over, though, bro. It's done. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they, they threw that. Way. Seven points at the moment, and Leverkusen got a game in hand, bro. So. I think, yeah, listen, I think it's down to your right side. It's down to the, your choice or opinion, and it depends on which one you want. But, um, I would love to have them both at Liverpool, but um, yeah. if you want Musiala... I mean, you're obviously going to get, you're obviously uh, gonna get more as a player from Jude because he, play, he plays in so many... He can play in so many different positions and he does mm -hmm. loads of things on the pitch. But if, you're, if you've got a team what's already settled and you want somebody to play in the number 10, obviously you just get Musiala in it and let him do his thing, but he's cold with what? Facts, man. Um, Red Odd, big up, boys. Big up to you as well, man. Big up to everyone in the chat as well. I know it's a late one, but big up, man. Um, it looks bleak for Bayern right now after tonight's draw. Yeah, it's done, bro. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's funny. If Alonso doesn't win the league, bro, there's, there's problems, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's pro there's problems, bro, because this is ridiculous. Like, even even last season when we threw it away on the last day of the season, mm -hmm. this, the league was it was close the whole time, bro. Like, it was Leipzig, Dortmund, Bayern, and he kept switching between us the whole season. And then up until, like, two games before, Bayern drew two games and then we won. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh, yeah, we're top if we win again. Even if Bayern win, we're through. And then we drew and they won. But it's not the same. They've literally, Lev Leverkusen hasn't lost and they've just gone ahead. So, and they don't look like they're going to lose, bro. They don't look like they're going to lose, bro. And that's what I'm saying. Even if they lost, safe in it, that'd be one game, bro. Yeah, they, uh, currently you're asking them, say they're going to win their next game. You're asking them to lose three games and draw one at least, and I haven't done that all season. I think there's 12 games left. Was it 10? I think it's 12. Was it 12 for us and 10? Yeah, I think it's 10 for them in that league. Um, mm. Which means there's only 30 points up for grabs, isn't it? And if there's 30 points up for grabs, by Leverkusen only need to get 20 to win the league if they win their next game. Whereas Bayern have to get 30 points by 100% and then hope that them man drop points with Nah, it's just over with. Uh, you're right, you know, um and Fringpong, high scoring wing back defensive duo in the world currently. True. Yeah, they get the license, bro. One drops deep, one goes forward. It, you notice a lot, um, a lot of the opportunities come when they overload the back post and then one of them just there waiting for a tap. -in. Always at the back. Always Always at that back post, boy. Yeah, nice, nah, man. Still, tell you what, Pete, man. I watched Fingy tonight. He come off the bench. His first game back from injury. Um, Alfonso. Mm. 
And and I know he's going to end up at Real Madrid, which I'm happy about. Yeah, yeah it will be. It, Rev, if football goes how we think it's going to go, and it's likely to happen, where Mbappe ends up at Real Madrid and a lot of yeah. ends up at Real Madrid, and then Haaland ends up at Real Madrid a year later. How are you going to compete with that, bro? From when you can't, Champions League you can't, you can't, bro. you can't, you can just you might be able to score one goal, and for every one goal that you score, they'll score three, bro. You're going to deal with Vinny Mbappe and Haaland up front, bro. <laughs> and Rodrigo somewhere in, in, in there, yeah, exactly because Rodrigo, Rodrigo and Valverde need to play, Bellingham needs to play, Camavinga and Schurmeni needs to play. Mm -hmm. They've got the young dons and that. Bro, I don't even know what happened because at the moment Bellingham's the top goal scorer in the league, bro. So it's like, you get me? It's a mad, it's a bro. It's madness. Uh, where is our question? Albert said our Klopp's leaving because of FSG trying to bring back Edwards. Why can't people accept Klopp? He's just tired and is coaching for twenty-four years non-stop. The man, the man, literally told us. In his interview, it's nothing to do with. FSG. I don't know what else, man. People have to say. It's, it's actually, tells him. It's actually yeah, yeah. It's to get embarrassing for grown men that keep making up stuff when the dons told you already, bro. Like it's 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 embarrassing, bro. It's, it's it's not just embarrassing. It would be less embarrassing if you actually knew from I don't know FSG or Michael Edwards yourself. At least then there's two sides to a story. You mm. don't even know anything, bro. Everyone knows what everyone knows, isn't it? Like all of us get the same information. Same information. If you reading, if someone's reading off X, the other person reading off X. If someone's reading off the Athletic, same person doing it. Fabrizio puts it out. Everyone saw the same video, but everyone just keeps wanna, like, oh, I've got this inside news. I've got you don't. No one knows, bro. And why would they tell us, bro? Mm -hmm. And YouTubers have to stop as well, man. None of you are in the know, bro. You'd not, bro, because you wouldn't be a YouTuber, bro. All your channel would be, I'm in the know, and I'll just do the Fabrizio thing, bro. Like, man, man, don't know, bro. Why would they tell? Seriously, mm -hmm. no disrespect to any content creators. We're content creators, isn't it? But why would anyone tell us, bro? <laughs> like, even, yeah, bro, even, even, if, man. If, like, even if, like, you was, even if your brother played for the club, in it, you still wouldn't know yeah. because he doesn't know. Yeah, plus, so man, no, they don't the cheer that, like, like, yo, Jar, guess what? You know, F club's leaving because of blah, blah. Come on, man. Do you know, it's crazy because it, we both have people that play in football, right? Yeah, 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 And even then, when you ask them, bro, they some they stay tight lip, bro. They're like, nah, bro, I can't. Because they will know where it comes with it. The most I get out of people I know who are mm. footballers, there's some, like, sports scientists and, and that kind of what I know. So all I can get out of them is injuries. But usually it's closer to the day when it's going to be confirmed anyway. So mm. it's pointless. They, 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 they won't, I won't find out something about Salah and then all of a sudden I know a week ahead of you lot. No. It's just that the day it comes out, I might I might have known like 11 p.m. the night before if I spoke to somebody. Yeah, you know I mean, because they're already like, oh, no, it's going to come out tomorrow anyway. That's how it works with media and stuff. And then when it's when it's the players, they just know regular football talk, in it? So if, if it's someone who's English, well, there, there's an international England team, they've got the same WhatsApp group and all that stuff, they might just tell you little stuff, in it? Or you, you can make stuff up from something they've told you. They might not even told you the truth, bro. They can say, oh, no, nah, uh, for example, for example, the one thing I knew that I knew that Madison was signing for Tottenham before everyone else knew he was signing for Tottenham. Mm, I remember you saying still. But it, it doesn't it doesn't mean anything to me, bro. Yeah, I mean it doesn't it doesn't mean anything at all, bro. And it's only around the certain team. And if your guy plays for Arsenal, you'll know certain things about maybe some of the Arsenal players late. But even that man, people can milk it and make it seem like, nah, trust me, because this person I know, you know, I'm like, bro. You think they're gonna risk their themselves getting in trouble to tell you, knowing that you got a big mouth? <laughs> if they know that their brothers are chat, they're not gonna tell them, innit? It's like it's pointless. Mm -hmm. So people yes. need to realize how stuff get into the news, and that even when it comes to like journalism, a lot of the times, and they'll tell you themselves, bro. They put two and two together, and that's how the story gets out there. And sometimes they're really right about it because it's like if you go and try and get a player from a different club, and say you transfer window, and by the time you get to that player. The club who you're going to speak to for that player goes, sorry, bro. Like, he's already in talks with Spurs. Yeah, you know I mean, so we're going to do this. So then, okay, so that journalist guy now knows that he's in talks with Spurs, bro. But he's not a Spurs mm -hmm. journalist. So he talks to his brethren, who's a Spurs journalist. Like, oh, is this true? Don't don't he go into? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he goes on X. Um, a source told, a source says that blah 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 is whatever. You know what I mean? 
or Young Kip Man. Wines, wines me up, bro. It's, it's long. A sauce, it bro. It yeah, wine me up now because I want to know who these sources, bro. Every minute, sauce close to, and you're like, bro, who's the sauce though, man? Let man. <laughs> yeah, big facts. You know my man on them um, Sky, bro. Ramesh, bro. He, he winds yeah. me up in the transfer window because he'll be breaking news, and I'm like, breaking news. They said that this morning, bro. Yeah. <laughs> What are you talking about? That is broken news. That's what it is. It ain't breaking. It's broken, bro. Bro, it's breaking news, bro. Man, I have to run that headline. And the lights do the earpiece bro. thing, in it? Like someone's yeah. telling them as it, like it's an emergency and that, bro. Yeah, mine's yeah. just in. Bro, I, this has been out for like 20 minutes. Not I, remember just the, I remember in transfer deadline day, they told us that um, Peter Crouch was in the helicopter about to land for the transfer. And then I seen Crouch talk about it. He said, I was in McDonald's with my dad. I went in no damn helicopter, bro. He said, look at the size of me. What helicopter am I going to be in? <laughs> and said he's on his way. Ring Pong has said that he likes LFC. Yeah, nah, you, listen, you know, he's not, nah, nah, he's not. He's funny because it, I, I saw the interview. Man asked him about Liverpool. And he was like, "Oh yeah, it's a great club, you know." Yeah, blah, what's blah, he blah, supposed blah. to say? Isn't it? I'd love if he goes, "Ah, oh, man, that dead, that dead club." Oh, <laughs> the only way you're gonna get away with that is if you're like a Man U fan and everyone knows you go like that. Nah, but of course, he likes Liverpool. You know what I mean? If you like football, you like Liverpool, bro. Nah, facts, facts. Yeah, you know I mean, because you're right around for the yeah, round for that one. Oh man. Um and says I watched our under 18s last night, another player to watch. My, is that's the one. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's the one I was that's, that's the one, the one I've one. been watching, bro. He's cold, bro. That's yeah. the one. Because yeah, he's can go both both footed as well. He reminds me of slightly of like Ryan Kent before he left. Oh, where it was just quick. Both footed, can drop the shoulder, go inside byline, cross skills. But well, obviously, we got rid of one in it. Okay, well, so, so give me one second, bro. Cool, 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 cool. Um, let's see what other questions you guys are saying. Uh, Alonso is a football genius. If he comes to Liverpool, he'll take Pep's crown. That's an interesting one. Would he take Pep's crown? I don't know. Pep's been in the game at the high level for ages, man. The only thing I was this um, Pep about is. He always goes to the big teams, and that's not a knock on him because he always has the best players available, the best, um, you'd say, transfer budget available as well. So if he ever needs to change anything. Um, I think the best Pep I loved when he was at Barcelona, he had he had Barcelona playing different level. And then it wasn't about money. It was just about, you know, your playing style and then bringing through, you know, the youth and whatever. Obviously, we're buying, and then it became about, you know, they had a, World class squad, anyway, and it just became about the money. Then, obviously, come Man City didn't work out in his first season, but then he spent, spent, spent till he had till he fixed it until he had a, a settled squad. But well, he's still a top coach, man. But Alonso, listen, he has to come to the Premier League first, and then we'll see what happens after that. Um, now, just saying this one, I don't know if you, you want to add to this one. Alonso is a football genius. If he comes to the comes to LFC, he will take Pep's crown. Pep, Pep's, <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, Pep's crown, bro. What as the best manager? No, nah, maybe from a playing style. No. no. Pep's, uh, that's that's a footballing genius, bro. He, bro. Man, not realize one thing, bro. Like, I have talked about this, bro. I might not realize what this geezer's done to the Prem, bro. Is that man in is bad? Is that the league in a chokehold since he got here, bro? He's making media teams play their, their goalkeepers pass the ball up from the back for no reason. Made people sell players for no reason, bro. Bro, every time, every, every time someone adopts his style, he abandons the style, bro. And yeah, then leaves. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. guess what? He obviously knows how to play against it because it's his style, bro. Hmm. It's like I've been doing that for years, bro. So I'd say, I was going to say this to you, innit? And there's something I told you that you should do already, innit? So please, what I'm saying now, do a video on it one, one of the times, innit? What he's doing, so everyone was doing it like inverted, innit? So yeah, yeah. Not the first person to ever do inverted in the world, but big manager, he's doing inverted. Um, He was doing it from left back position first. And then. Artet became well. Artet has obviously adopted it and then used it with Zinchenko and nearly won yeah. the league. And then he obviously, you look at Man City centre backs and they're not fast, are they? Mm. To be fair, the wing, apart from Walker, 
then the the, the wing backs are not, not that fast either, man. And you think, okay, we'll use Walker there, but bro, these man, what are everyone's doing inverted right back and left back? These men are doing like it's I don't even want to call it, bro. They're using the centre back to do it. Mm-hmm. And it's horrible because they're so good at it, bro. All of a sudden, John Stones is like, I don't know. It it's so yeah, 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 he's Obviously, they normally start off in a normal shape. But as soon as the game kicks off, they go into a back three. And John Stone steps into the midfield to be the spare man. And that's why they always have the ball, because you're literally playing against five men in the midfield. And you normally have around three. So they they always outnumber you in that position. That's why it always looks like they've got more players than everyone. And Mm -hmm. they don't. Because basically, you've you've made John Stone the spare man. And he can go wherever he wants on the pitch and just be an option. And then when he decides to let me drop back to sit to set, drop in centre back, Roger just takes the spot back anyway, bro. And I'm and Roger's so good at passing the ball under pressure. I'm like, bro, he just gallivants through the squad. That's why when he's not, that's why when he wasn't fit and he was injured for a bit, he, the, the, the team looked a little bit weird, bro. And I'm like, the way he just, bro, I don't know, man. Sometimes they're defending it- with two centre backs, which means they've got even more of an overload. And because Walker and Ake is so quick at getting back, they're cool. I don't yeah, know. That's why sometimes they don't work when Guavadal plays because it's not that fast. But anyway. Do you know what it is, bro? They put you, you're right, they put you in a chokehold. But the reason the reason behind it is you, you have to then choose one way or the other, right? So you have to choose whether your wingers stay with their fullbacks or you leave your wingers up and then go, ah, oh, we'll just gamble. Bro, you can't gamble against Man City because they've got so many ball players in there. You go, ah, oh, no, you stay, you stay, you yeah. two stay. Bro, that means there's four men just occupying space. Yeah. And everyone has to come back. Yeah. And if everyone has to come back, it just means every time you kick the ball long or get rid of it, yeah. they end up getting the ball and it comes straight back and it keeps and going. That's what, that's rough. And that's why if you try to play against them and you're mm-hmm. using the system they were using with an inverted right or left back, the guy you use, you're using to invert he's not a spare man anymore because the man they're using as a spare man, he's got him. <laughs> mm-hmm. like, there's no space to move. And every time we watch them struggle, it's on the counter-attack in some transition because you're just hoping that whoever they're playing against, they've got faster wingers than their fullbacks, which means if, if Walker's not playing, it's more of an even pace on it. But you saw what happened mm-hmm. the other day when he got twisted. Which game was that? Chelsea? Yeah, Sterling on it. So the, 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 you have to bank oh, on the fact that. Inside, yeah. yeah. And think of it, Sterling... Um, we had end of the Crystal Palace game, Eze and Elise. Neto done it against them with Wolves. Bro, it's not a coincidence, bro. It's only to mm. these techie wingers who, who end up getting anything against them, bro. You're either getting something off a set piece or you're hoping that one on one you can do something. And obviously, Walker's still rapid and he's still an athlete in that, but he's going to slow down bit by bit. So, yeah, it's crazy, man. Yeah, Pep, Pep's got that, bro. And when everyone tr- decides to take it and start using their centre back as a midfielder, trust me, we'll start doing there. some inverted right winger or something. Like I don't know, bro. Some, it I don't know, bro. He'll play his number nine as a false ten or some rubbish, bro. He'll do something, bro. Um, <laughs> big up, and man says Ricky and Ali could miss the running, the running, or the rest of the season. What kind of hamstring injuries this man got, bro? <laughs> Where's the? <laughs> He's missed the rest of the season. He doesn't have a hamstring anymore, bro. <laughs> yeah, real talk, man. Like, I don't know what move he tried to do for the hamstring to fall off the bone, bro. So, um, let us know where you got the info from, bro. Be an interesting one, but this one I found interesting, Sam. Obviously, Virgil, team of the week. I think that, is this the first time I've seen him in team of the week? But nah. then I looked, what, bro, I looked at his card, right? And they've got his passing at 75. 75 for Virgil passing. Yeah, but none of the centre backs have high passing. But, but but we know he can pass, bro. Like this is yeah, but the way they do it is it's ridiculous, bro. It's like they don't even they don't make any centre backs really fast either. Yeah, his base what 80 62 shooting makes sense. He doesn't shoot it. He's meaty, bro. Physical 88. Jesus nah, yeah, that's my it's even worse because this is that's on his team of the week card. It means his actual card is the stuff are weaker than that. All of the stats are weaker. But I I have his regular card. It, yeah. The stats are weaker, but when you use him, he's cold, bro. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. He's one of the he's, like he's probably got about four or five cards out now already. So, yeah, they, they don't do the stock properly because that they try and make it fair on it. Um, the only people who are not they're never fair with is Mbappe, Mbappe, and Messi and Ronaldo. Yeah, because Ronaldo's Ronaldo has been like finishing's been like ninety seven for every year, bro. Where well, Mbappe so, doesn't miss out the game, bro. Like if you, yeah, now one, <laughs> I've got remember I unlocked it with the first yeah, card. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. No, but um, to Virgil though, big up to him, man. Do you know I'm so happy that this man has now got a trophy already as well. How long did it take Hendo as captain to win his first trophy? I don't know, you know. So I don't, if you know, let me know. Chat if you know, let me know. No, I'm not trying to descend though. I'm not. I'm not trying to let me. We make it clear. I'm not trying to descend though. I'm just asking. How long did it take Hendo to win a trophy as the captain of Liverpool Football Club? Because Virgil did it in his first six months. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. That's that's terrible. That's terrible, bro. There's so much context to what you just said, bro. No, bro. I'm just when, saying. When, when Hendo became captain, he he wasn't he wasn't Klopp. He was the manager, and oh, okay. So he had to go through different managers. Then he had to come with Klopp, and then Klopp had to reboard the squad. And then, yeah, man, took about three, four years, bro. It wasn't a sly Hendo this bro. Hendo, it was, bro, because you, you, why didn't you say how long did it take Gerald to win his first trophy as a captain? Because I'm going with the most recent two captains, bro. One was Henderson and one was and one's Virgil currently. Nah, bro, I'm just saying, bro, like, how long did it take? Does anyone in the chat know? How long I did it take? I just told you, bro. I just told you, bro. He became captain when Gerald left, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it took him about four years, bro. Oh, okay. Crazy. It's not, it's, not, it's, not that, it's not that crazy, bro. When is his passing accuracy? He's like 90% most games. Yeah, I, I, honestly, bro, I don't know. 72, 75 passing. That's perfect, bro. It should at least be 83. You might not get too carried away, man. The 83, Jude is like 83, bro, and he's a midfielder, bro. He's like, a better no. passer than Jude. Who is Hen? Who is Virgil? Virgil. Virgil. Stop the foolishness, bro. Stop it, man. Stop it, man. Bro, Virgil has a better passing passing range than, than it, Jude, bro. Stop it, man. So Jude, so Jude out here now is just the best, one of the best passers in the world, man. I didn't so even say he's one of the best. I just said that what you the number you just said is Jude, and the Bruyne's is like 90, bro. So I'm just saying. That's the what you're working with, and it they don't make the centre backs have great passing because most of their passing is from the centre back position right to, to the DM, and then Virgil has obviously a great long pass. But don't ever do that again, brother. About his passing better than Bellingham's, bro. That's... Why is it not better than Bellingham? It's not better than Bellingham's, bro. Why is it not better than Bellingham? Because he isn't. He isn't better, bro. Why? You... I don't see. I don't see no range of passing from Bellingham, bro. Bro. He has the he, you know what Bellingham has that punch pass punches it into you runs off his shoulders give it back to me ah oh, let me arrive late in the box. Bro, listen, man, let's just be honest, man. Let's stop the fool. It's not a diss on Virgil, bro. You're, talking, you're comparing a centre back to a midfielder, bro. So, as I said, most of Virgil's pass in the game, which is a fact, is from the centre back to the DM position, the centre back to the left mm. back or right back, and that. And then his only other pass is the switch ball. Which Bellingham can do as well. Uh, right. Bro, I watch him every week, bro. Oh, when right, bro. All right, man. Yeah, he's he's got a pass. All right. Not gonna argue with you. I'm just saying. Know, he's got a pass as well, bro. Because there's no way the, the centre back should have better passing range than you, bro, as a midfielder, bro. Why not though? Sometimes because, a centre back because what range? Bro. He's got Virgil has the switch pass and then the short pass, bro. Wait, tell me, go on, tell me. Go on. You're gonna tell me some made up through ball that Virgil played now. I see him do a through ball with his head, bro, one time. So that was a great header, bro. And then I saw the pass they gave Mane in the Champions League to, against because, Bayern. Okay, well there you have it, bro. You just went four years back to find the pass. No, but I'm, you, uh, you, you asked you asked the question, and I gave you answer to your question. You get yeah, but you gave me a pass from four years ago. Yeah, because he's not required to do many of them, but I know he can do them when he when he when he's called upon to do it, he can do it. Just, just saying, bro. Bro, 
week. You're going to watch Rosa every week. You're going to watch Rosa every week and pretend like what I just said about how, where his passes are going are not. How hard you think it's hard to pass the ball out to the right or left back when you're at centre back? It's not hard. I'm, I'm not saying it's. I'm not saying it's hard, Sam. I'm just saying like Bellingham's passing range isn't as high. as... I just gave you Virgil's two passes, bro. Virgil, Bellingham has all the. Bellingham's one is just loads of short passes. He's very good at oh, short passes. He carries the ball oh, better. So than I just, so I just I, 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 bro, I'm just not been watching Bellingham play football at all. Then that's just. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know who I was watching in the Blues Academy. I don't know who was watching at Blues. I don't know who I was watching at Dortmund. Yeah, you know, Bellingham's played for all my teams, bro. So I'm watching all the time. Bro, I don't understand. What are we doing here, bro? It's not a diss, bro. You're best, off, you're best off comparing Virgil to going, Virgil can pass the ball better than Diaz. He can pass the ball better than Ake. He can pass the ball better than Saliba. Using the midfielder, bro. I'm just saying, bro. Maybe we have to compare them on it. See, you know. You literally haven't given me more range than the two, the two we... types of passes it does. What if what don't we? What if we check their passing completion this season, bro? Virgil's passing completion should be better than the midfielders, bro. No, I'm just it bro. to Robbo and to Trent to Bradley yeah, but, and to Gomez, but, and then a long switch. Bellingham's, but Bellingham don't try difficult passes, bro. What are we talking about? Did you see Bellingham's last assist, bro? I'm just saying, bro, like, bro. you know what I mean? Man said I got a Madrid bias, bro. I'm a Liverpool fan. <laughs> what are we doing here, bro? Hey, sounds like you do, bro. I don't know, bro. Defending Jude heavily, bro. Doesn't play for Liverpool Football Club. I'm all, bro, hey. I don't care, bro. Hey. I don't care. I'm not taking, bro. He wasn't in Madrid slander, by the way. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I know I know football too well to be, you know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not. Sorry, bro. I just thought, uh, I don't know. I don't think he does. You think he does. That's fine, bro. Um, let's go to this man here, bro. Where is he? Third youngest man in the FA Cup, bro, to play for us. Um, do you think we put him on? Uh, us? Do you think we put him on just to hit that trigger that thing in terms of having one another young player player? Do you think we played him because he deserves to play? No, no, no. no I've always no, thought that. I, I always thought that, bro. Do you, you know when they go, ah, He's one away from blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden he's on the bench. You put him on when we don't need him. I, I don't know if it's one of those things and we just threw him on because, oh, yeah, let's just get another, just see another a target. All right, third youngest player to play in the FA Cup. No, nah, Klopp doesn't give a shit about them things. Bro. Mm. Klopp wouldn't even have known if no one told him. He, they, That's true. They brought, they remember, they went out of their way to buy him, bro, to play him. They wanted him to get ready for the first team. So, no, 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 no. He's a uh, he's techie, man. He's techie, bro. Yeah, you know I mean, so. No, he's a baller. He's a baller. That's got that's some developing to do in that, but that's mine because it's normal, isn't it? Young, bro. Bro, when he came on, he looked mad small, bro. Like he he does look like a a teenager, sixteen. Yeah, 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 yeah. So who's oh. on the list? Jeremy Sinclair, Jerome Sinclair, sorry, and Harvey Elliott. Yeah. I don't even remember Jerome Sinclair's game. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, it was um, league was it league cup? I can't even remember this. Remember this the game that. when he came on, and they they spoke about him being the youngest at the time. Yeah, these guys that just went fun. on. The, do you know where he's at now? Does anyone know where he's at? Nah, bro. This is what I said, man. Like that's what I said to you about these man and Woodburn and Nathan Eccleston and all them man, bro. They just disappeared, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, nah. This kid's got a bright future ahead of him, though. Um. But I want to. I want to see. I'll say I want to see him get more opportunities. But he's sixteen in it, bro. You just have to wait your turn, bro. Just wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plenty of years ahead of you. Yeah, pick up all the experience you can this season of just being around the first team. Um, hopefully, there's a plan in place for him already, which I think there will be. There's no way that he doesn't go on loan at some point. Um, mm. he, won't, he won't just stay around the squad. It's not. It's not beneficial to him at all, rather playing with the unders ain't beneficial to him more. It's be like when he plays in the under 18s and that. Yeah, it kind of stands out anyway. Um, but like I said, man, I like I like some of our players. Not not even selfish, bro. I just know that go abroad, man. Honestly, bro. Even if you because some people go on loan, they come back and then they go back out alone and that, bro. So mm. I would if I'm if I'm a player, I'm trying to choose to go out alone for a year, come back and then go to a different club, not the same one. You know what I mean? So and do you think like, these men? Do you think the best? Do you think the best bet for these guys is is it? Championship, or do you think abroad is the better option? 
abroad. Being abroad. Yeah, yeah. Mm. The start of it. Um, Germany, not France as such, but yeah, Germany, Spain. Seems like that. Sunderland. Sunderland, for us. Yeah, what do you guys think in the chat as well, man? Do you think abroad or the championship? Like, I always think here, yeah, once you do the championship loan, I think the next loan should always be in the Premier League. Mm. It's like Cavalio now. If he doesn't, if he doesn't, obviously, if Alonso is a guy that comes in and he goes, ah, I want him at Liverpool, but I'm, he's still very young, but I want to loan him out to a, to a Premier League club. I think that's the better move for him. And then he can just cook up in the Premier League, learn learn the league, playing week in, week out, only make him a better uh, a better player. But since he's been, you know, he's come back to the championship, he looks really good. But like players, like your your Dan's, if he's not going to play, he needs to go to either the championship or abroad. Um, and then after that, come straight to the Premier League. Yeah, 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 yeah. Once, once you start, once you stand out too much for whatever team, whatever age team you're playing, the under 18s on twenty. Once you do that, you need to go to a, a football club. Then there's there's no point still being there because you're not progressing playing against these guys. Too good. That's what that's mm -hmm. what happens with Doak when Doak plays in them in the academy and that he looks way better than everyone. And he does what he does in the, what we see him do. He just runs past everyone all game, bro. So. <laughs> <laughs> this man will run you. Have he's the type of like though he's the one of them wingers you don't play against, bro. Like Neto, bro. They just can sit Horrible. every time they pick the ball up, they're looking to attack you. As a fullback, it's long because you don't know whether to go or stay. Because if you go and you leave space in behind you and catching him, and if you stay, it means at some point he might skin you and then you're gonna might have to lose your hamstring or your calf might fall off. Mm. So. I don't yeah, man. We have to work on the feeder clubs and that again, man. I build up a relationship. Mm -hmm. I want to see the club bruise on them teams and that. Bro. Just let's build up a relationship with some clubs. Um, and that's the way to go, man. We benefit the club having the person on loan and the benefit also our player getting, you know what I mean? Obviously, Leipzig didn't work out for car value and that, but I think mm -hmm. that's always the best way to go. Um, become a more cultured footballer, man. Even like Dortmund is a good loan. Dortmund always good for someone. Good I don't, yeah. I don't think there's been a better club for loans than Dortmund, bro. I don't think that's so. What, that's where I wanted Curtis to go before he got the breakthrough yeah. season yeah. in terms of last season. That's where I wanted him to go. Yeah. If you went there, bro, comes back a different player. But yeah, not interesting. But guys, yeah, man, if you got any questions, throw them in the chat. Go, what, another 12 minutes and then we'll head out. See if you guys got any other questions and we'll we'll try and answer them. As many as possible. That's it. Dan's don't wanna. Well, wanna. No, no, no. He's a smart. He's a smart guy, man. Can't take that. Um, the adulation of Liverpool too. Like in the moment, of mm. course, that's what he wants to be. But he's not stupid, bro. If you if you line up all the players and everyone's fit, and then you ask Dan, do you want to catch? Do you want to stay at Liverpool, and uh, maybe get on the bench in these certain games? You want to go out and it's young, bro. Hmm. Young man, like once you've got a contract for Liverpool, you you don't have to worry about anything, bro. But like you're saying that he's bleeding at Liverpool, I understand what you're saying, Jack, and, that, and obviously you're excited about having him squad at that, bro. But who's he getting ahead of, bro? We got six attackers, and he's not ahead of Doak. Yeah, that's and true. He's, and he's not fit, so yeah, I'd... he's not ahead of them, bro. Yeah, you'd have to go on loan. There's no way. <clears throat> yeah, there's no way he gets in now when everyone's fit. At the moment, though, if he can, I don't know, if he gets a few more minutes and he keeps scoring and keeps getting, you know, the opportunities, then you never know, man. Because sometimes he only takes that one season or a run of games and everyone goes, oh, shit, you can actually play at this level. But it means he would have to score against the big clubs, though. It doesn't mean he scores against the, the smaller clubs when we're dominating the game and he comes on and gets one, would mean, does he score like big goals? Is he competing against the big guys? Can he run past? Can he hold up the ball against the bigger centre-backs in the league and stuff like that? So, Yeah, you, so have, to, you, have, to be a, you have to be a wonder kid to get into these teams. You have to be a wonder kid or your team needs to be in a mess, bro. Mm. And unfortunate for them, man. Liverpool's thriving at the moment. That's that's how... um It works in the long run, but you, you like that's how Arsenal's team was formed, isn't it? 
the current Arteta team was formed on. They were doing so bad and finishing eighth in that, brother. And they wanted to get rid of like Abama Yang and Lacazette and all that, and um, Windowsy and that. They're like, okay, who do we use in it? Let's mm-hmm. use that Saka kid. He was playing at left back, playing at right back. Let's use Saka. Let's use Smith Rowe. You know what I mean? Let's use Eddie. And then all of a sudden, they've got this. They had remember they had the youngest team in the in the league like two seasons ago, three seasons ago. Because they just had them scattered around that mate the Niles. Um, 20, 22, Niles, 23. Um, yeah, I think there's like six or seven Saka, mate the Niles, Reese Niles. Martin as well, two years Martin, ago. He was yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's about eight of them. So um Josh said um Dan scoring off the bench again. Maybe. That's if he get like, would he get in the team? Yeah, probably because he's the only other fit attacker in it, so he probably will get he probably will get there um in the team. Um Andy says, What do you guys um think of Ruben Amarin? And is he at the level to manage a top team? The best way I always like to look at this year, because everyone talks about obviously the style of football, blah blah blah. Every time we, when we used to talk about Darwin, man used to say, well, it was only in the Portuguese yeah, exactly, league. Exactly the exact same thing, bro. So uh, it's the Portuguese league, bro. Uh, like so do, you remember, do you remember the other day when man was trying to quote me in the chat, um, G and somebody else, only because I made an offhanded statement about um, Rangers and who was it? Benfica or Porto? Yeah, yeah Benfica. I think, yeah. And I said Rangers might beat them. And all they're both at the top of the Portuguese league. I said, so Rangers are at the top of the Scottish League, like same thing, bro. The one, <laughs> one's just no, because one's just a bit more feels a bit more cultured than it. They got beaches and they got the sun. You mm. know what I mean, got some fire things and that, bro. But that, more realistically, what's the difference, bro? Because that's how everyone speaks about them anyway. So I think I think you're right when it comes to that, bro. This, and you know, know that? they're not yeah. even included in you know when they do the top four leagues because it's a real mm-hmm. thing. They're not included. And not included. I don't know if it's France isn't even France even included anymore. They took them out, aren't they? Yeah. England, oh, they're, 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 Italy, Spain, and Germany. The Once they France, take a copy out of the league, bro, you know that's not going to be <laughs> exactly, bro. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my point, bro. That's my Once point, man. You can't have it both ways, isn't it? You're, I think you're hunting, right? It's good that you brought it up. Can't have it both ways, man. It's over the league shit, which means everything shit, which means it's easier or for the man. It's always cold, bro. It's over, and it's always a decent league, and you just don't watch it. So you're feeding mm-hmm. off the fact that you keep seeing the same teams at the top of the league. But I don't know what you not think that Portugal thing about the Prem, because from there, from Portugal, when they look at the Prem, they just go, "Hmm, the Man City again, Farmers League, bro." Oh. <laughs> and it's like, oh yeah, do- okay, well yeah, Bundesliga as well. Bayern Munich, they've won it ten years, well nine years, and Klopp stopped them. Oh well. Yeah, farmers. Well, hold on. Man City's keep winning the same. All right. You know what I'm saying? So, no, nah, like jokes jokes aside, look, I'm I'm sure he's a, he's a top coach. I've seen some stuff around it, the way he plays football. But I always think, yeah, but it's the Portuguese league, bro. Like, what? I don't know. I don't know. If he can come to the Premier League and, and, and improve himself, then that's fine. But the other guy that he's competing against in terms of the list of Liverpool managers or the short list of, of managers is Javi Alonso. We're seeing him, you know, tearing up the Bundesliga, bro. Mm. So, I don't know which one is the Portuguese league better than the Bundesliga. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think Amarin probably will go to a top club maybe next season. But the one that I want to look at, bro, they um, they bought a striker, Sporting bought a striker from, was it Coventry? I can't remember the Donny's name, right? But he scored... 31 goals in 34 yeah. games and like 10 assists, right? Yeah. I'm keeping an eagle eye on this because if I see people try and tell me, ah, oh, he's cold, he's this and that. But you, this is what you guys didn't say Darwin was, bro. You might try to cook him and said he scored 30 odd goals in the in the Portuguese league. So I, I, I just I'm keeping an eye on it, man, to see. And I think he Arsenal's on the list of because he's on the list uh they need a striker. Yeah. Victor and it's Swedish dog. Mm. Yeah, I think it's, I I think it's the, some bad goals though. But yeah, I think it's in the I think it's in the Swedish national team now as well. I just yeah. want to see what people say in it. Yeah. yeah mm. Big up, bro. Big up Beijing as well. I see you guys. Any other question, people? Yeah, he's got 31 goals and 11 assists. Yeah, yeah, bro. 
some Darwin numbers, but man, Cook Darwin said he only done in the Portuguese league. Yeah, but it's weird that people can't just admit, like, you just don't care about the league, and it's normal. It's a bit snobbish, isn't it? Like I told you, but if, you, if you're from a certain country, you obviously believe that the league you're watching, you're invested in it, so it doesn't feel shit to you. That's, and I think that's fair enough. That's- you know what I mean? Like, man just coming out, you check their phone and seen the results, telling me that Bundesliga is shit, we seen Bayern won again. Okay, go and watch the game. Watch the highlight show. At least watch something, bro. The highlight show. Talking, bro. Yeah, yeah, instead of just talking, bro. Because that's what I said. Remember, that's that's the same thing what happened when I was talking about Watari, bro. And I was trying to say that, nah, trust me, I was there. When he got the when he got the um, thingy, the player of the season, the Bundesliga player of the season, I remember it, bro. And it's like, nah, it's the Bundesliga done. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? As I said before, Frankfurt coming to the Prem. Some man are getting smoked, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, the Prem is literally a joke league. Yeah, man can't tell. When was the last time you man seen Wolves win the Europa League, bro? <laughs> you can keep going through the names. Wolves, Fulham, Crystal Palace. None of them, man. No win, no, no league. The last time I saw them, man, they in there, bro. They got smoked, bro. <laughs> But we saw Sevilla win the league in it, and Sevilla's not even in the top. Bro. Like this, is what I'm saying, bro. So, ah, oh, shit, man says ends tomorrow. We Capo miss one chance tomorrow. We bring Darwin. If Darwin misses, bring Dan's. If Dan misses, this is why we ain't winning the league. We need John. <laughs> right, do you know how mad that is? Because I can't. Bro, someone's definitely going to say someone's that. Someone's definitely going to say that, bro. Someone's gonna def- I, hope, I hope they don't miss the chances so someone can say that. But, yeah, man, I hope we just score every chance we get. But, nah, that's crazy, bro. Nah, Gap was one goalless game away from turning into Darwin, I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> I'm telling bro, you, he's bro. been on goal. He's scored back-to-back. I know. Days. I know. I know. But, trust me. Oh, fuck's sake, man. So it feels like we're always defending our players, bro, against our own fans. It's a tough one, man. Um, Man said it sounds like K-Mac. Lazio tonight got three red cards. Kicking everyone that's away, bro. Mm -hmm. I wanted wanted to see, see the resurgence of all these leagues, man, especially Italian league, man. Last season was good. Really good in the Italian league. The oh. Italian league last season was better than the Prem. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. It was actually. Um, a... It was cold, bro. Um, so we need to get back to that, man. But obviously, players in it, man. The, the talent needs to be spread everywhere and all that, bro. But talent ain't. Well, it was, man. I watched Finger. And I saw. I saw Adriano earlier for the first time. Man. I remember I was saying the other day. Obviously, man, the gang member ain't seen him. I saw him playing Finger, bro. Masters football. Mm. Broski. That's not the same Adriano, bro. This is a clone, bro. This man had no techers, bro. Yeah, bro. He's probably in touch to football in a minute. Nah, 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 bro. When you're Brazilian, bro, that, that old man yeah. is in your blood, bro. This man had, bro, he tried to do some step overs, hardly mm-hmm. stepped over the ball, nearly tripped on it. And when the guy took the ball off him, he just kicked him. He kicked him on the floor. He kicked him onto the floor and then smiled and helped him back up, bro. But the kick was a kick, bro. Said nah, bro. He's got, he's a gang member for life, bro. Just, that's not the same Adriano I remember, bro. Not ninety nine shot power Adriano. Bro. Mm-hmm. Um, just said it's hard to call them fans when they don't back our players. I don't know, bro. Told you one bad game, bro. They're telling he's a seller, man. Two bad games, yeah. He should never assign three. What is the manager thinking? Four, yeah, Four said after the game the other day. I can't remember. It's in the chat. It was like, oh, we should never have brought Gapo anyway. We should have just used Dan. I said, you didn't know who Dan was two days ago. No, nah, someone could never have said that, bro. Yeah, it was in our, it was in the chat. It was like a new no, name, no, though. No. I didn't, I, and that's what he said. It should we shouldn't have shouldn't have brought Gapo in the first place, bro. Tell that to last season, and it when he was struggling and he was helping us, bro. <laughs> when he was the hard goal scorer, bro, he was just false nine yeah, dropping. Last him. season without Gapo and Nunes, bro. Long day, bro. Long day, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, leave it there, man. Hold on, when's the match? Yeah, tw- was it not 12 a So 12 a Nah, I can't. Is it? Is it? Oh, bro, I swear. I feel like bro, we're the only game. I'm, 
Or, or, or the other two teams isn't playing. Oh, it's 3 o'clock. It's 3 o'clock, all right. There's no 12... Bro, they got to stop this foolishness, bro. God, it's ruining my weekends, bro. Like, I'm not used to that. Last week they did that. So there was no 12.30 game last week. Mm-hmm. And there's none this week either, bro. It throws my equilibrium off, bro. Like, I do the same thing, bro. They need Smack to chuck one of the... Why they chuck... Go to the Why don't they chuck one of the other teams in the 12.30, though, bro? So mm-hmm. it seems to just be us getting chucked in the 12.30. I know, bro. Bro. And all the games of media as well. Brentford, Chelsea, West Ham, Everton, Fulham, Brighton, Newcastle, Wolves, Nottingham, Liverpool, Tottenham, Palace, Villa. This is the worst Saturday for football. What the fuck is these games, bro? You just need to win, bro. That's all you need to do. Win. Nah, but my dinner time game is Luton versus Villa, bro. They're mocking me you off, bro. Watch it, man. I'm going to watch it because I can't help it, bro. This is why I don't like being a football fan, bro. Like, it's ruined my life, bro. Because I can't not watch football, bro. I can't even tell you the amount of games I watch a week, bro. It's re- it's actually bad, bro. Mm-hmm. Missy just be walking back like, there's no way Liverpool playing again. I said, this ain't Liverpool, bro. Nah, that's what I thought today, bro. It's like, hold on a minute, bro. Nah, because after the cup game, obviously we had the FA Cup game. It's like, Liverpool can't be playing again, yeah? And then I was like, oh, yeah, tomorrow Liverpool's playing and they've got the calling show. It's like, Liverpool's playing again? I said, <laughs> yeah. Bro, bro, I'm telling you, man. Missy be walking past Watching Liverpool again, I said, yeah. This is this is older shot versus York, you know, like that. Allow me, mm. but what are you watching this for? Because I'm a boy, yeah. I just want to watch man. Might be a techie, might take your baller down there, man. Want to see you come through. I knew it was dark days, man. When I watched Party Fistle versus Queen of the South, bro, in a cup game, I said, Nah, bro, this has to stop, bro. Yeah, the, the other day I turned the game on, I don't even know who was playing, I didn't even check, bro. It was just one of them getting it was just on. I watched, like, Sydney oh, FC. I watched Sydney FC for 10 minutes the other day, bro. I said, oh, <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I swear the last time I watched Sydney was when I, well, I think what Heskey playing for them at one point. Heskey. And then Storage playing for them as well, isn't it? Yeah, bro. Because I can't help it, bro. But something has to be on, bro. Sky News ain't on. Something has to be on, bro. And I told you the other day, yeah, the content creator is Mr. Trickier because for the first time, I chose not to watch it. Innit? I chose not to watch that flipping show with. um. What's it called, man? With Ian Wright and Neville and that, bro. It's not the overlap. It's some other version to it, isn't it? Mm. I chose not to watch it, bro. I was just like, I've already seen the overlap and that. i got other stuff to do. Watched it today. <clears throat> I can't lie. It's sick still. I can't lie, bro. It's cold still. And this is what was content creators. I told you the other day, didn't I? They mm-hmm. they read their way into the content creator space, took everyone's ideas, and they've already got the backing of Sky. That's it. Stick to football. And then they're out here having croissants and fruit sitting around the table. And yeah, man, it's actually, it's actually cold, bro. Like, it's actually cold. And they've got the perfect set of people there as well, bro. Because they're, they're still doing normal stuff. And they're not trying to, like... Obviously, the swearing stuff, they just beep it out. They don't try and cover it up and all that business. And, that. Mm. Talking about stuff. and I'm like, nah, this should be demanding, bro. This should be demanding. Because obviously, what, is, what was that one we used to be on? Sunday Supplement? Sunday Supplement, yeah. That, is that the one with Ben Shepherd and that? And Ben Shepherd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was good football talk, but it looked boring as shit, on it? Like the- it was boring because it was generic questions, bro. Generic questions, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like how how boring. did my man score that goal the other day? Like, yeah, yeah. Bro, I think the other shows shit, no disrespect to them lot, but I think the the um the Saturday socials, that's shit, bro. Who that's goes on? Is it random? Did they normally add content craze on there sometimes? Yeah, that's normally have like um, specs or chunks or whatever on and I can fend sometimes it's shit but like they've def- that's definitely all the YouTubers ideas they, they use it every week all the games or everything with the rankings the same ranking system everything is from content creators bro um, it's just that they got the back in the sky the ginger I like the ginger dude's good like he's a good presenter I think he's really good at what he does mm. um, and then obviously the guy that used to be on Soccer AM but the show itself it just seems contrived bro like, it seems like they already know what the dot over done is going to ask them so they can prepare their cheesy joke, bro. Yeah, because it's always going to be like that. It could never be off the dome, though, can it? Yeah, but it's if not live, it's just you off the dome. Cool. And if, if man says something stupid, just edit it, bro. But it's... If it's live and man says something crazy, bro, you have to just let that land still. <laughs> you just have to rock with it. Yeah, man. I don't know what they're having um, in America. Because obviously, we don't live there. I know that's obviously CBS shown over there, but that's on in the evenings most of the time. I watch that stuff. But listen, Barstool 
if you're watching. This is what man and me and ends up, man. You know what I mean? Listen, yes. we don't even need, bruv, just pay for a little six months trial and that. You know what I mean? Me and the little apartment in New York awesome. and that. You know what I mean? Something light. I would, maybe we'll even pay. You pay for our apartment and that. Yeah, you know I mean, little six month everything. contract and that will work. If it don't work out, rip the contract up, safe, send us back to England, no problem. And if it works, start talking big money and start talking about bringing the family over and that. Hey, that's what I'm saying, bro. You said while still doing tactics, bro. Just so got, like, let's be not, honest, bro. It's America, football. isn't it? And it's not their main sport. They're not got bad man covering football. Hmm. They haven't got like bad, like you got like, um, Robbie Earl and that, bro. We got Robbie still, but man, I'm trying to hear yeah, Robbie. Man, trying to hear Robbie Earl in 2024, bro. See you know what I'm saying? Young I think they, they, obviously, I, f- I follow them. I see some of the stuff that they do, and yeah, I think they, they, I think they will, you know, try again. But the last one they tried wasn't, you know, the one they needed, bro. We're the one they needed still, but we'll get in the studio, man. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, getting in the studio would be a problem, bro. Man, if you and if you don't want us to play, I mean, hey, listen, you don't. Even, we don't even have to do it from stateside, then it set it up over here. We'll do it from over here, bro. We'll do it from over here, bro. Nah, I mean, we'll do... bro, we would, we would have, bro. The amount of luck the jokes would be busting on there, and we would have proper football conversations, bro. Not none of this meaty conversation that no one understands. Proper, football yeah, man. It'll be cold, bro. Give me the tactical board there, bro. It'll be a madness. <laughs> Come on, man. Um, ah, man. Being a football fan has ruined, my, <laughs> ruined your life. Question. Savage, um, you have issues. Do you have issues, Savage? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Now, nah, football, bro, being a football, bro, being a football fan, like, no, being a football supporter, because I'm not fanatic, bro. But being a football mm-hmm. supporter, it, it, it gives you the best moments in your life, half, because obviously, Mrs. might be watching, no, that's true. And, um, but it gives you the worst ones as well, bro. And you do mm-hmm. illogical. Like, it's not football's not logical, bro. The game itself is, but everything else around it is not logical, bro. Because if, if it was, we'd just suck off everyone when they get to the age of 28. And we'd get, rid of the world, yeah. get some fresh bloods in. Get fresh blood in. When your favorite player leaves, follow him wherever he goes. And no one ever wear the Liverpool top again and wear whatever top they're working. You know what I mean? I should, be, I should have been an LA Galaxy fan as soon as Gerard left, bro. Yeah, the way football's going, it might even end up that way, by the way. Maybe. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Question from Honesty. Um, we play six games in the next 10 days. Would you mind rotating Europa League versus Brighton? Yep, we have to rotate regardless, bro. Yeah, Klopp's going to rotate every game. Yeah, we have to regardless. Um, um, yeah. It, it, I, don't know if you, I don't know if it honestly means like rotate heavily. But we have been, to be fair, though. Yeah, like, yeah. Because people are to, on the bench getting like Virgil yeah. and Canate played 45 the other day. Yeah, you have to take the spot Prague so you rest as well. You have to, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Good thing for that is you got two legs. So you, I would go out to, I would go out there to spot them in the first leg. Yeah. Because there's, no, there's no way goals on it. So go and spot them, hit them for four, um, and then rotate the second game. Don't, ro- don't rotate it completely, but rotate it more like the Southampton game. And it should be fine. Jack Smith said, I've been a Red since 1974. Come on. Respect, bro. Respect, that's crazy still. Um, I won't won't tolerate the slander of the two Robbies as an American. (laughs) Robbie Elberth. You're going to take this Robbie slander, bro. You don't want to try to hear Robbie Elberth. You don't want to try to hear Robbie Elberth. I didn't hear what Sherwood said about um, Gerard either. I don't know what. What did he say? Uh, he's, he, he, I think he dropped him. He said about they were talking about captains, innit? Mm. I think they were ranking the, the top five captains in the Premier League, and he wasn't in his top five. Premier League history. I think it was history. What? I don't think that's what is that. I don't know if that's that wild though. I don't think that's that wild. If you think about all the captains, well, if it's based on, off just off the Premier League, then you'd say John Terry. Premier League, you would say Roy Keane. John Terry, Roy Keane. Vieira. Vieira. Oh, Vieira has to be in the list then. But unless they, unless there's criteria and context to it, unless it was, oh yeah, to have won it, and then it would be like, well, we can't make the top five. Yeah, you'd have Shearer. If Shearer would pick to you, would have Shearer in it. He was in the team that Vieira, won. Yeah. 
Was Blackburn. he captain at um, Blackburn as well? Sure. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. And Sherwood was in that team. And then Tony Adams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. It's not that great. If you just dissed him and said, no, nah, you can't. If you've done the right, the, you know, trying to diss man and that's, that's dickhead business, bro. But if you've done it based on the mm -hmm. most of the Prem and then, because Man, you had a few captains as well. So, yeah, it makes You know, sense. it's always, whenever you mention the Premier League and, and players, I always feel like sometimes he gets a knock based on because he never he won. He always will. He always will. Yeah. And yeah, instead of just going, no, no, he was, he was a great captain, bro. Like, Skulls even said it, bro. said, I could never have done what Gerard did. For yeah, if, we, if we'd done if we done a Premier League 11 now or Premier League top midfielders, top strikers, top defenders, top goalkeepers and that, mm -hmm. and we had like a fair panel of everyone's judging and whatever, straight away, man will have Gerard in the top midfielders, but they won't have him at the top and they won't have him second. Bro. They, mm -hmm. They're definitely going to go the other ones because they they're going to go, well, how can it be Prem top if he ain't won the league? And, and I'll just leave man to it, bro, because at this point, I need to fight Gerard's corner, bro. His, his football speaks for itself, bro. There's no way you can watch Gerard's football and think he ain't one of the best, bro. Um, and there was a moment, bro, where... And I'm being serious, bro. I don't remember... Lampard was never one of the best... Like, he was never nearly the best footballer in the world. But he was cold, bro. Whereas that 2004-5... Well, 5-6 Gerard. Mm. So a man said, bro. That's when Zidane said he wanted him to come to Real Madrid, don't Gerard was cold, man. Um, we'll finish up on this and wrap it up, bro. Uh, rank these three in their footballing ability, I mean, time and factor. Um, Okocha, Matt Letizia, and Ben Arthur. Okocha, Ben Arthur, Matt, D Matt Letizia. That's my order. Okocha, Matt Letizia. No, the order you wrote it in is the order I pick it in. Okay, fair enough. Your culture was different levels, man. This man was, yeah. But this it looked like he shouldn't have been able to do all the stuff he was doing. He looked mad awkward, bruv. He was built like a stock, bruv. And mom was flicking the ball over man's head and was volleying it in, bruv. Man, where's he from? Guernsey, innit? Something like that. Mm -hmm. He's just doing mad stuff, bruv. Like, he's cold stuff. Yeah, Skinner Gerard was a serious guy, bruv. Yeah. All right, then, peeps, man. Let's head out, man. Quick one. Tomorrow we are live again. The calling show after the Liverpool game, man. So it'll be an interesting one. Hopefully, some of the three points. Um, loads of positive things to talk about. No injuries. That's what we want. Um, so have you got anything going on tomorrow as well? Uh no, nah, I'm gonna record this video in a minute because the Rockers was cooking up Cody Rhodes, bro. So I'm I just stopped. Now nah, he was cooking, bro. He was cooking him. I watched like two minutes of him. It's twenty minutes on his Instagram. So I stopped it, downloaded it. Gonna do the rest of it after that. Got smacked that in the morning, and then uh, <clears throat> nah, then just the calling show. Um, yes, that's it, man. Yeah. And then obviously the um, movie club on Sunday. And that's. I can't wait, man. I'm looking forward. I haven't watched the film yet, but I'll watch it once. Um, we got. I already know what my pick is as well. What you next week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I was watching it today, but I'll watch it back when we do it. Is it my pick next or is it someone else? That's you. Right there. Is it you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cap it, cap it, my son, and it? so it's you. All right, cool, cool. Yeah. I'll see no, no, no. You told me what you were watching earlier, bro. What did I tell you? No, 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 no. It's a difference. It's a difference. It's not that one. Not no. the one you mentioned in the WhatsApp group. Bro. No, 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 no. No, no. It's yeah, bro, I swear, if you pick some foolishness, bro, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful thing about the movie club where you can pick whatever film and a man them have to watch it. Yeah, man. When you bombs in the chat, going to get involved anyway, man. Well, the movie club, I don't know. Bro, yeah, chat for real, man. When are you guys going to come just... across me? Every time, bro, and then you know what? You know what? You know when the week goes by, man. Hey, so you're not going to do a review to this big man. I do a whole movie club, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll chop up the movie club. It's actually dope as well. It's proper relaxed and that. We're chilling. It's chopping up a movie, bro. And it ain't like people, a couple of people come in and they go, Oh, sorry, so I didn't watch the movie. I'm like, But I told man what movie it was a week ago, bro. Mm -hmm. So, any, anyone who wants to join the movie club on the week, American made, bro. Tom Cruise. There you go. You've had you've had your warning, bro. 
Yeah. If I if I press the channel this weekend and no one's in the chat, bro, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do pre-recorded, bro. I don't need to be live, bro. Yeah, we'll do it, man. <laughs> All right then, bro. But yeah, join us tomorrow, people, man. Do the call in. Should be fun. Hopefully it's another three points and then we get going again, man. Peace out. Come on, peace. One day you're here, one day you're not. Uh one day you cold, one day you hot. Uh, one day you on top, but then one day you drop One day it feel like you can't miss, but then one day you flop Check it out, we all came to this earth from the dirt We returned to the dust where we came from, mm, Even if you bank like Bezos, mm, Everybody must like Elon, uh The reaper can't take your visa to him, you are just a peon That is a fact we sleep on We see that text and read on Some believe we get reborn While others ignore and yawn at the thought of a breaking dawn I write a song that goes on for pages long If you got a bone to pick with me, alright, cool Then pick your favorite bone I got so many voices inside my head I picked my favorite tone and ran with it. My flow so got darn hot, you catch a tan with it or tan from it. I just spit it however I get it. I form a sentence and non-formal sentences. I reinvent it. Now, I'm more like Aang with all these flows that I be 